Welcome to today's workout. This is a 10 minute AMRAP workout. Now it's only 10 minutes long, so that should be encouraging right from the start. But AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible, A-M-R-A-P. So your goal in this workout isn't necessarily um, to hit an exact you know, number or tempo or whatever. You're going for the completion of a round of exercises, a chunk of exercises, and you're gonna see how many times you can get through that round in 10 minutes. So because I wanna be able to talk and show you the exercise at the same time, helping me demonstrate today is Brandon. So he's gonna help us um, walk, see what all the exercises are. Uh, one round of your head to step back, you're a lot taller than me. So your head, you can see yourself right there. Okay, <laughs> I didn't set this up for someone your height. Um, so one round of exercises is actually five total exercises and I'm gonna demonstrate them. You don't have to worry too much about writing them down because as you go through the 10 minutes, a timer is up with all the exercises on it. If you want to write something down, go right ahead. But this is just so you know what each one is. The first one is a squat. So you're going to set up with your feet about um, a little wider than hip width apart, and you're going to squat down and up. Your goals here are your eyes and your chest up. You can just keep going. Yep, yeah, perfect. Um, eyes and chest up, heels down, and your knees in line with your toes. So if you'll turn sideways for me, you'll see that as he squats, he's not worried about um, how far his knees go forward. He's just hoping that, and he is doing a great job, of keeping his knees in line with his toes and his hips back and down. Awesome, so that's a squat, thank you so much. The next one is a switch lunge. So you're gonna set up with your legs apart. Yep, and again, you can go, your knee can go as far forward as you want it to go, but your back heel needs to stay down. And there's a couple different ways to do this. So one way is the full switch lunge, which is actually jumping and switching legs. So go ahead and demonstrate a couple of those. Very nice. You know, he's, notice he's still keeping his eyes and his chest up, and it's okay if you wobble, you just catch yourself. Also, an option would be just to step back if you don't want the jumping option. So you step back and lunge, come forward, and switch, and take your opposite leg down. Good, and you're gonna be nice and low. You don't have to go that low, but wow, he's getting really close to the ground. Um, so it just depends on your mobility. We're mostly concerned with that front foot. So we saw squats. We saw switch lunges. Next is back extensions. And if you want a mat, you can use this to lay on the ground, which we'll make sure that it's on the camera. I know. Poor Brandon's having to learn how to do all this. Okay, perfect. So for back extensions, let me sit over here. Um, the first thing you're going to do is make sure that your um, core is engaged. And we do this by imagining that we're lifting our belly up from the mat. So you can't actually see that, but um, you can just imagine that's what's happening. So for back extensions, we're going to keep a neutral neck, meaning no wrinkles behind the neck, no double chins. We're going to lift up, upper and lower together, and down. And as you lift, think even more on the lift about exhaling and pulling that belly in tight. And then inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Awesome. All right, that was back extensions. Then you're going to pop yourself up to a plank. And you're doing push-ups. So you don't have to stay in plank long here. We're going to get to that one. You're gonna be doing push-ups. So a couple things about push-ups, you can do them with um, toes on the ground only, lowering down to 90 degrees at your elbows. And you can start with your hands as wide as you want. So if you actually wanna go wider than the mat, Brandon, and then you can stop at 90 degrees of the elbow, you don't have to go that low down to the ground. Perfect. So just 90 degrees of the elbow and back up. Awesome, and you can also drop your knees down, just again, zip your belly, squeeze your bottom, keeping your spine a nice long line. And then one more option is to just crawl the knees in a little bit more and then help yourself here. But notice nothing happens in our spine. So go ahead and do one of the repetitions here. So it does go down and up, but it doesn't drop in the lower back. Beautiful. So you're going to do push-ups. And the last thing is a plank walkout. We're going to do the entire uh, plank walkout number for you. So you're going to hold for about five seconds. You're going to pop up to a plank. Zip your belly. Make sure those fingers, see how his fingers are pointed forward and it's pressing this L of his hand. So we're you know, engaging in our radius here, not pushing down to the ulna of our arm. Um, nice flat back. Sorry, that was a really long time, Brandon. So he's going to count one, two, three, four, five, and a little slower, those two seconds. 
He's going to walk his hands into his feet. Now, when you do this, yep, yeah, good. No, you're good. <laughs> yep, push your heels down. Now, flat back to come up. All the way up. And then you can raise your arms up. Go back down, flat back. Sorry, smashing the bike there. Walking out. Back to plank. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Walk back in and up. So that would be two plank walkouts, and that's all you're actually doing. So one round, again, you're gonna be doing 12 squats, 10 switch lunges, and for switch lunges, by the way, one, two, you don't have to count each um, one before you count to one, eight back extensions, two plank walkouts. Brandon showed you the whole exercise. Plank, up, down, plank, up. That's two plank walkouts because you're counting the planks. Um, again, you're gonna have these exercises and a timer on your screen. So you don't need to worry too much about keeping everything written down. A couple tips to help you get as many rounds as possible. Um, quick transitions. So you want to move from one exercise to the next as fast as you can. Um, obviously have a water and towel close by. That way if you do need some water or wipe some sweat or something, have it close by. Set up your station. Okay, so you're gonna pause right after this, set up your station before you start that timer. Put on whatever music you want. The timer's completely silent. I want to have some good music to motivate you to whatever you want to listen to. Now, one other thing you might need is a little pencil and paper or something to track how many rounds you get and any additional exercises. For example, maybe I got four rounds and some exercises, but not all the way through by the time the 10 minute timer went up. I would write it like this, four rounds, 12 squats, 10 switch lunges, two back extensions, right? I walk myself through the rest of the way. Why keep track? So that you can see improvement. You can go back and do this exercise anytime you want and look back to what you did last time and see if you've improved your fitness at all. So that's one reason that I love AMRAP workouts also, they're usually nice, short, quick, really sweaty, really cardiovascularly intense, as well as muscularly intense. We even threw a little flexibility in there on those plank walkouts, um, but it really does show you um, what your fitness level is like. So, all right, like I said, make sure you pause the video, get your station set up, then go. You've got 10 minutes. 